all right this whole area looks real juicy right next to that piece of wood right there euro tackle one inch epf swim all right suspended jigging under a float oh my lord did you see that take did you see that take bro it's got to be one of my target species the crappy because it is crappy season here in pennsylvania and new jersey look at that dude epf is williamson we got here a burak kurapi you like that sugoi subarashi this you feel me man let me put <laughs> let me put it here in my bucket can you feel can you can <laughs> Can you see that my my Japanese is getting a little bit better now, huh? That's why I'm training, man. I'm training to go to the motherland. Even though I was I'm from China, but eventually we'll have to make it to Japan, yeah, to do some live listing. So Watashi wa Leo this. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a few photos of this crappy over here. Main goal of the day will be to catch some different species of fish from the DNR canal because the last time that I was here I only had enough time to do some trout fishing and don't take me wrong I love the trout the rainbow trout the onkorinkus mikis we even caught a tag one last time right part of the hook a winner program over hook a winner w-i-n-n-e-r okay program I'm still waiting for that patch prize but yeah I didn't really have a time to catch all the other wonderful species around this area right so that is the main goal of the day we're just going to hop along the canal before the rain comes and catch some fish that is a beautiful crappie that we got right here super healthy New Jersey crappie okay I'm going to measure it real quick over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Will you look at that? Nine incher. This is actually a keeper crappie for the state of New Jersey, okay? New Jersey is 10 crappie a day combined species, eight inches minimum. So I could take this one back home to eat. But that being said, I am going on a fishing trip real, real soon. So I'm not really looking to take any fish back home and cut them up i already got my fridge filled with trout so the trout will have to do for now yeah all right there's some crap around the area let's catch some more this is a weapon of bass mass fish destruction son i always tell people you can't really go wrong with a little epf swim one inch imitation it is my signature lure right collaboration with euro tackle man i trust this thing 100 percent 100 percent you go out there you can cast and retrieve you can cast and jig you can do some suspended jigging like i'm doing right now eventually you are going to find some fish around your area and this thing is absolutely going to is lay son oh my man something just Something just ate something there on the left side. I have to give a cast right along there. It's crazy how active the fish already are. May. All right, right around there. Downside using a float. Yeah, you spoke the fish a little bit, but. Oh, 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 fish on, boy. Oh, no, 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 don't go to the wood, boy. Don't go to the wood, man. Don't go to the wood, son. Don't do that. All right, smaller crappie. The range of seven inches or so, right? Eh, a little bit smaller than the previous one. Up of the mouth, EPF swim, son. Crappie season, you feel me? Woo! But you don't need no live bait, man. Some people go out there and they tell me, yeah, man, I got live shiners for my crappie. Hey, don't take me wrong. They will eat live shiners. They will eat worms. They will eat all that stuff. Or you can just get some EPF is win, man. And use one as far as you don't get it snagged. And boy, you'll be slaying them all day. All day. Look at that. Oh, man. All right. That was a small one. We need a bigger one. 
Come on, let's cast a little bit uh, this side then. See if there's anything on this side. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, oh, no, 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 come over here, come over here. That's not, that's not bad, that's not, oh, wait, what is that? Oh, no, bro. It was a bass, man, it was a little bass. I, I don't think that was a crappie, you know, I think that was a little bass. Left, the, um, left, left me a mess to fix over here. But all right, EPF swim, it's still, it's still good. See that, man, I told you, bro, you use one EPF swim under a float got the soft lock thing right over here look at that boom ball in dude we're good for somewhere crappy EPF swim oh there's a piece of sunken wood right there oh yeah boy oh yeah boy saw that I saw that piece of sunken wood right there dude oh yeah oh yeah dude nice crappie nice crappie look at that man that's another eating size right here a incher a incher plus for you all on the EPF swim I found another piece of sunken wood right around that area like I said it's spawning it's spawning time spawning season you know that's how the crappie behave they come from the depths of the canal right over here. The canal is deep. They come to the shallows and they find areas with pieces of wood. So there they're ready to do the spawning and lay then eggs. Truth be told, you all, at this point, I kind of already know that there are some crappie around the area, which was already expected because I've been to this fishing spot in the past, right? I've shot YouTube videos over here. I'm gonna leave one above for you all, an exciting one. So I already knew like, oh, this time of the year, you come over here, you know, yeah, you, you are going to catch some, right? So that is part of multi-species. We caught the crappie. Now it is time to move on, okay? That's right, man. I kind of feel like the Albi Glow for some reason has been doing so good to me when it comes to the Z Spender, you know? I think I'm going to put an Albi Glow Z Spender, okay, Euro Tackle, two inches, and kind of cast everywhere around the cove and the canal, right? I'm not really going to go for bass, all right? The bass are closed right now, it's spawning, right? Hopefully they're in the beds already, I don't know, but I would love to catch some pickerel or perhaps some even bigger trout from over here. Oh man, you really can't make that up. As much as I want to catch pickerel and some other stuff, I mean, we did so well with the trout here the other day. Actually, it was more like a week ago, but... All right, all right, just a few... Come on, folks, just a few casts. There's nobody fishing it. Just a few casts. I'm not gonna lie, it is hard sometimes to pass on on a fishing spot that you know that it produces you come out here you know and you want to do something else but there may be some juicy fish right in front of you right so i understand it may be a little repetitive for you folks here in this video but bear with me okay man i pay for that trout license bro get a few more trout for the fridge is never a bad idea you feel me Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We got feisty one. Feisty one down there. Yeah, take it, boy, take it. Yummy power bait, yummy power bait. I don't know how big it is, though. Yeah, boy. Always a good idea to stop by, man. We pay for that trout stamp. Let me tell you. I want to catch some pickerel, too, but... Man, my mom and my dad are coming to the United States. You feel me? Never a bad idea to stock up a little bit more on the trout, right? I'm gonna kill this one, just so you all know. On Corinco's Mikis, we're gonna take it to eat. Man, now I'm in a real dilemma. Once you catch the first one, and I don't got a cooler with me, I'm putting them in the Ziploc. That's a big problem. 
It's a big problem because trout is spoiled real fast. So I'm gonna catch, I'm gonna attempt to catch a few more over here real quick and we're just going to boat. Well, all right, we got another one over here. Oh, took my power bait. Man, there's definitely one more down there. These trout are feisty. Easy now, easy. Gonna give it a little bit more time to feed this next one. Since I'm gonna take them home anyways, it doesn't matter if they swallow the hook. I'll try to cast the same location. Right there, good. Right there, right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, take it boy, take it. See, the bite is almost instant. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's on. So we got our second trout of the day coming up right here, boys. It's on, it's on. Ooh, a little bit bigger than the last one. Beautiful, huh? Look at that. New Jersey trout right over there. Like I said, I already got one. So now that I got one and I don't got a cooler, you know what I'm saying? We need to make sure that uh, we catch a few more. My Lord, look at the colors. Look at the co Wow. This is this is phenomenal colors right over here. Oh man. Oh, oh my dude. Sir, yes sir. Third one of the day coming up right here. Oh yeah. Hmm, got some energy to it. Like that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Man, love that salmon peach power bait. That's for sure. Right, easy, easy now. Look at that. Flip it. Boom. All right, this is enough for me. Three for today for dinner. I think there's more than enough. Look at the colors on that dude. Oh man, some beautiful fish, beautiful dinner. Inhale the hook, it's fine. We're taking it. It is time to go. Boy, we don't got no time for all this stuff over here, I'll tell you that. This fishing session turned out to be very, very different, huh? Than how I expect it to be. The rain kind of moved in real quickly after we caught those crappie. Listen, listen up, listen up. I put the numbers over here real quick, okay, man? I'm just packing my stuff here because I'm not even making this up. It's going to start pouring real, real soon. I got three trout in my book bag. Man, I'm ready for some dinner back at home. I promise you all, I promise you all, okay, that dude, I felt, I felt a few drops. I definitely felt a few drops. I promise you all, I'm gonna bring a video on some pickerel bass in this canal in the future. You can see how the wind is picking up, pressure is dropping. Oh yeah, dude, look at that. Oh yeah, oh boy, you see that man, it's gonna start pouring real quick. All right folks, I'll see you all next time, thanks for watching. I know this video was a little bit repetitive because of the trout, but I tried to do what I can with the time I got, with the weather I got, right? I'll see you all next time, tie lines, and take it easy.